Hello healers, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we have another flip through and it's for the lovely Les Vampires. This is from Lucy Cavendish and another artwork from Jasmine Beckett Griffin. And I really love these two together. They have a couple of decks that they have the artworks together. And this is really something that I like. And uh, we, I do have the other oracles that they have as well the oracles of shadows and light and also the shape shifters both of them we have um, walkthroughs in my channel already and even other tarot deck from them as well the beautiful creatures so all the links will be below for my i have a playlist with all the decks that i have um, walkthroughs flip throughs okay and this one i got uh, just a day ago i just took off all the plastic and everything and uh, it'll be easy here for you because it's blue angel okay they come in this big sturdy box a bit bigger and the cards are a bit bigger but they normally are shiny and a bit stuck so i made sure that they are not stuck anymore okay so you can see here it's lovely and this bright beautiful color here is like between blue and purple it's really lovely so hopefully you'll be able to see everything and you can see here it comes with the guidebook as well they have in this deck is 44 cards okay and the guidebook so I'll, like always i will go through the cards and i'll shuffle at the end and read from the guidebook so we have an idea of what the guidebook has to offer okay you can see here it's quite dark and mysterious you know so you, you ended up with only these crystals here for me today i'm cleaning my crystals i don't have any of them in the back there this is what you have here normally this is not here but just enough to be completely empty and you can see here they are on a shiny side okay and they are all the same size as the other ones as well uh, normally bigger oracle sizes like oracle si uh, cards are so i'll leave this here and um uh, in the side and i'll read in a bit okay so we go through the cards first and you can see here on the back okay it's this lovely and brown kind of oldish uh style and you can see one of the the dolls the i don't know how you call them you know the one of the pictures so it's really nice i really love this art style you know like um jasmine back at griffith has like a specific style here that is very easy to recognize it's it's her deck you know so just to show you closely you can see it's shiny okay i just show you on the glare there but hopefully i'll avoid that while showing you here and I will go through them here. So eternal youth. So you have the uh, couple of main keywords and then more here at the end. Okay. So, and they have numbers as well in case you work with numerology. It can help you out in that way. So eternal youth, energy, newness, vitality. And they have all this vampire style, a bit dark. You know, I really like that. And uh, I would use any time of the year, but uh, this will be really fun during Halloween, winter time as well. Enlightenment, inspiration, epiphany, innovation. And they do stuck a little bit, okay? They came quite stuck. I was just uh, going through them to unstuck them and uh, should be okay now. But more you use, they'll be less stuck, you know? The, it's not the, the thickest cards, okay? It's not bad, but uh, it is on the thinner side, you know? So you have an idea. And they are all vampires, you can see here more on the dark side knowledge, study, learning, education. Just so you have an idea, you know. I really like the back, I really like this dark style. And uh, this is really an artwork that I really enjoy. Ancient, Ancestry, Egypt, Magical, Inheritance. So I feel like you can read, have many different kinds of readings with this deck as well. It's very interesting. Nightmare, Psychic Protection, Shield, Bad Dreams immortal the consuming family pressure of peers transmission transmission spreading of conditions influence impact it's very interesting the the keywords they are always different with uh, um, lucy cavendish that's why i like them and this is the front here of the box the seduction allure desire manipulation creator catalyst maker mother father uh, last day in the light, unexpected endings, surprise changes, sudden shifts, death rites, saying goodbye, formal occasion, honoring lives, call of help, call for help, reach out, need for backup, admit your needs, 
primal connect deep within sacred dance instinct really beautiful really beautiful card this one compassion empathy sympathical kindness reason listen to advice think clearly intellect the call of the night daring adventure excitement the past a prison bitterness grudge refusal to let go anti-hero maverick risk taker rule breaker interesting one uh, maynard madness ec ecstatic ritual energy release redemption absolution forgiveness penance thirst craving compulsion obsession I really like this. It's close in and this beautiful eyes they have is so realistic. It's really beautiful. They have those big eyes. Look at this one. Very, very nice. And this is the outsider. This feet, loner and wanderer. Free will, sovereignty, uh, independence, free spirit. Love conquers all and enduring loyalty, eternal love, last commitment. The monster within, internal struggle, personal challenges, wanting to improve. Beautiful one with the wolf. It's the jealousy, envy, punishment, changing course, ecstasy, yielding, rapture, bliss. Some really nice ones. Burnt by the sun, ambition, extension, reach, witness. To know personal evidence to speak out that death will come mortal finite fragile prey stalker invaded watch it i like this one too the hunter aggressor tracker provider rebellion upstart tumult revolution this is a nice one as well this discipline training Consistency, practice, sacrifice, renunciation, offering, letting go. Very beautiful. Faith, trust, unwavering, confidence. Religion, canon, rules, commandments. Courtesy, thoughtful, polite, good manners. This is a beautiful one as well. Supernatural, inexplicable, miraculous, otherworldly. Natural. Authentic, real, organic. This is a lovely one as well. They're so nice. Transgression, flaws, contradictions, mistake, nobility, honor, high standards, idealistic. This is a lovely one as well. Hope, anticipation, bright prospects, wish. And the last one, resurrection, reprise, recovery, come back. As you can see, guys, they have this unique style. You know, this decks from... Uh, this artwork from Jasmine back at Griffith and together with the Loose Cavendish, they really are lovely. And I'm so happy I got this one as well. So I'm, I'm trying to get uh, at some point, um, you know, the decks that I really connect uh, that she has. She has so many good ones. I think I have uh, the other one as well, which is not this style, but Lucy Cavendish. And I have like uh, another deck as well, but uh, I wanted to the one that uh, you know combining with jasmine back at griffith because they together they have really good uh, oracle cards and uh, the artwork is really good so what i'll do here is uh, shuffle you know and you see what's the card of the message for today for us and i'll read from the guidebook as you can see it's a little bit stuck guys it's just like and they are big okay so if you have small hands it's not the easiest to, to shuffle, you can see yeah, I have to really stretch, otherwise I'd say you would have to, to shuffle from the top here to make it a little bit easier, you know, but they are a bigger size, the size, so anything, any message that we can get here for us today, I feel like maybe this one is jumping out, and this is Love's Conquers All, lovely, Enduring, Loyalty, um, eternal love, lasting commitment, 24. And you can see here the guidebook has uh, 135 pages and the information about them. Okay, spreads as well, you can see here. 
and I like that they have normally a full page loads of information for each card like you see like two pages and you see they have like uh, the vampire is big and then we have a blessings curse working with this card so it's really it's really interesting so it's loads of information this that's why i like you know lucy cavendish normally has good um guidebooks and you can see here the two pages so i'll read here for you okay Le vampire is big some love endures only until a change comes to visit and then that love that connection the friendship can dissolve. Some friendships and connections are strong and healthy, only to die due to neglect, or because one partner shifts an alliance to another. But in the heart of these creatures, these faithful ones, we can see a love and a commitment that truly is enduring. For we have experienced it, just as this new vampire is experiencing in within this image. From one lifetime to the next, through transformation, they will come to greet her. They know she is changed. They can sense her difference, but they are hers and she is theirs. And that bond is unbreakable until true death takes them away from each other. And even then, the love endures through memory and the presence that lingers after death. This young vampire does not know how fortunate she is yet she may not even know how very much she has changed transformed as she is awakened and alive to her vampire sense she has become but for her these wolves are her friends they were her dearest ones and now that bond will grow even stronger as they will remind her of her human self and of her compassion they will also teach her to survive, to hunt, to be wild. And though she has never been less like them, they are all now creatures of the night and hunters. A new love out of the old love has been created. This holds true for you too. For there is a love that endures beyond distance, change and radical shifts in energy and circumstances. There are those who are faithful and to whom you have given your bond to. There is a love and faithfulness that endures even beyond lifetimes. This is yours. Observe this miracle of everlasting trust and love. Be grateful and give thanks. Blessings. Love is a miraculous state and some lovers are so powerful that destinies change and lives are remade within the crucible of its fire. Curse. A belief that love is powerless when it comes to difficulties or that it fades its light dims. Working with this card, love can be renewed, reignited and enduring. Open your heart to the power of love. Know that it is a powerful force and give it a place of honor in your life, your home, your work. Love is all there is. Work and live from that place where love dwells within you and your life will be sublime. You can see here, guys, you know, loads of information, really beautiful. I really always like the guidebooks because you can see there's not just information about what's going on in the card, but how you can apply for you a blessing, a curse, you know, a way for you to understand. And in this one here, it's all about love, how it can evolve, transform. Sometimes it, it's gone, but then you can learn what is the lesson that you take from it you know if, how can you evolve and uh, learn with uh, what has happened to you so this is what i will leave you here with guys like always the link will be below if you want to have it for yourself the link for all the other uh, reviews i do in this channel as well and as always i wish you a lovely blessed and healing day thanks for watching